Hello, I am Dr. Margaret Warner. I am an officer of Patient Advocacy Initiatives. We're a nonprofit 501c3 organization with a mission to empower you to be your own patient advocate. The purpose of this series is to teach you how to read, understand, correct, and contribute to your health record. Our series is built on two parts. The first is a series of patient-centered modules. This will look at healthcare policy from the patient's point of view. The second part is health staff-centered. These modules will look at health policy from perspective of the medical provider and those you encounter in the hospital, in the office, or online. We are going to ask you some questions along the way. A screen will appear beside me. Ah, there it is. It will ask a question or ask you how you feel about something. Please choose the best answer and then click Submit and Continue. What is your favorite color? Hmm, I'm gonna pick blue. Welcome to our patient advocacy series. Before we get started, please answer the following questions. Hello, I'm Howard Bernstein. I'm a Patient Advocacy Initiative board member. I'm proud to say that Dr. Michael Warner was my family doctor, and now he's the president of our organization. Dr. Warner is a board-certified osteopathic family physician. He's also board-certified in neuromusculoskeletal medicine. He is a certified professional coder, and he is a class of 2017 health policy fellow. He foresaw the need for all of us to read our health records, correct mistakes, and amend content. He learned of this due to being a doctor, a patient, and a caretaker of his family. He donated a kidney to his son four years ago and has been a patient of our healthcare system. He knows what it is like to being in the healthcare field from a nursing assistant to a doctor and from a professional coder to a health policy fellow. He began this organization by first writing a guidebook with his physician wife, Dr. Margaret Warner. To better understand the needs of patients, he then designed and completed a clinical research study where he encouraged his patients to co-author what was written in the electronic health record in preparation for a family doctor office visit. The patients recorded their concerns in the same format that doctors are supposed to document. We call this a prehistory. What the patient wrote in a prehistory became part of the documented history in the patient's health record. The patients told their stories and it was all recorded in the record. What the patient expressed helped the doctor better understand the patient's subjective experience. This led to a pertinent examination and medical decision making that often turned into shared decision making. At the end of the visit, each patient was given a copy of the office note Patients were asked to review the note and grade it for content and accuracy. Patient satisfaction rose, and patients believed that the quality of their care was better. We believe quality rose because of the patient involvement, which fostered the patient-provider relationship. We want you to enjoy greater healthcare satisfaction, and we want the quality of your care to be excellent. Our healthcare system is in trouble in regards to quality, cost, and satisfaction. We think that solutions start with you. In regard to your health and our healthcare system, the stakes are high. At the end of the day, we need to ask yourself whether you did everything you could to help yourself or someone you love when in the need of medical attention. We're going to show you how to be your own patient advocate. That's the goal of our nonprofit. With attention to improving healthcare, quality, cost, and satisfaction, our mission right now is to educate you on how to access and amend your health record. Dr. Warner is qualified to teach you. Please allow me to introduce Dr. Michael Warner. Thank you. Thank you for completing this first module. Please join Dr. Warner on the next module.